Hello and welcome to the new episode of the AWS Training for Beginners. Siavash is here and in today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to launch an AWS Linux instance and run an Apache web server on it. So let's begin. First of all, open your favorite browser and point to aws.amazon.com. Here we go. And click to sign into the console. Perfect. And the login with the root user and credential that we have created together to access to the AWS free tier service. I've got the credential saved in my browser. Click on sign in. And here we are. So we are in a console. There are several ways to access. One of them recently visited services, EC2, but general way, you already know, we can go to the services. Under compute, we can choose the EC2 and go to compute section for EC2. So we're going to launch an instance, click on a launch instance, and we choose the Amazon Linux 2MI, which is eligible for free tier. Leave the architect as x86, 64 bit works for us. Select next. We just choose the T2 micro with one CPU and one gig memory. Just click next. We no need to change any of our configure instance details in this page. So just press next and add the storage. The default general purpose SSD, 8 gig uh, hard disk works for us storage is good for this tutorial add the tags and let's add tags if you remember the tags are useful for, uh, for management purposes in AWS environment so always go with the things like name it's good let's add a name and let's call it just like a web server yeah, that's good we got here and the next configure the security group, we are going to choose one of our existing security group, which we called it SSH and web. We learn um, in this security group, we adding the traffic from any source for HTTP, HTTPS, as well as SSH. So for SSH is a big security flaws here because um, just, you just need to limit to your uh, the public IP address or um, Best practice your jump box machine IP address to access to your e, um, AWS resources. So just uh, click on review and launch. These are all the information we select and launch. Just acknowledge we have the AWS key you download on previous video. If you don't have, just create the new one. Click the launch instance. And after our instance successfully launch, we can click on an instance ID. And as we can see here, the instance state is impending. So after a couple of seconds, it should be come up to the running mode. Here we go. Just refresh from here for several times and we will see how it's working. There's a name we put as a tag. Still pending. We can review all other things like a public IP, public DNS, the security group we are using and the key. So, still in the pending state. And finally, it's running. Let's take around 10, 15 seconds maybe. And our instance is up and running. So, we just can copy that the public DNS. And for testing purpose, I show you the HTTP. If I put that public, it won't show anything because technically we don't have anything other than just simple Linux server. No web server, nothing is running on it. So let's SSH to the box and make sure that under authentication, we have our key here. If you remember, you learned how to um, change the AWS key to the potty private key format. Here we go, we have that file. Nice, go back to session, just paste the public DNS or public IP and open. So accept the key, here we go. The default user is ec2-user and we are already logging to our box. So let's begin with our command set. What we can do, just let me show you that how, that's one of the way you can see the relays. Of course, you can see that it already is in a 
Amazon Linux 2 MMI, but this tutorial is just purposely for this type. So just cat etc and system dash release. Here we go. It's showing that Amazon Linux release 2 and the code name is Caru. So let's just escalate our privilege. Um, just to do sudo su getting the super user as you can see the prompt is changed and who am I we are root so that's all these commands we are going to launch is in a root is a good practice usually we just yum update our repositories so it looks like no package need to getting updated all good so yum install httpd this is these commands help us to just install the Apache web server on Linux. Yum, install HTTPD. You can use dash Y if you like to just automatically these things getting done. Oh, since we are in this uh, session, just say yes. And we can do it manually. No need to do anything. Apache is installed successfully. And we are going to uh, launch the service. Since we are on a route, you don't need the sudo, but if you want to use the EC2, make sure that you just add the sudo. So system CTL and start the HTTPD. Here we go. This is started. We can enable the service also. So the system CTL enable the HTTPD. Here we go. And this just created a just same link for us to Every time our Linux is rebooted, the Apache servers also start automatically. We can check that is it enabled or not. We can use the system CTL and this argue is, is enabled. HTTP, this is our service name. And as you can see, we have all the commands in one page. Just, just have a quick review. System uh, CTL. CTL start HTTPD to start the service, enable the service, and just verify the service is enabled up and running. If you go back to the previous tab and just refresh the page, we can see the Apache uh, test page up and running on this EC2 instance, which is good sign. So let's get back to our SSH session and let's create a simple HTML file. As a one of the best way we can go to the var dot 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 and HTML. Here we go. LS nothing is here, so we can choose your um, whatever preferred text editor. Don't care really. HTML. So okay, go to the insert mode. See if you are feel comfortable with Vim or the Nano, whatever way you just let's create HTML. And close the tag. This is just using the simple, very, very, very simple HTML tags here. We just go to H1. We can say, hello world, as usual. Yeah, just, just have a one break line. My favorite command since old days. And welcome to my web server. Uh, that's it. And we can close that H1 and close the body. Oh, this, this is not this is not related to the OS or anything. I just to take a look at that HTML, just create HTML, the body, just using the header, size one, hello world, whatever text, blah blah. Body HTML close. That's it. And right and Q. So we can see that if you want to check that, get index. Here we go. We have the file here, ls. That's good. And if you go to this page and refresh the page, now our customized index HTML works. As you can see, uh, less than less than five minutes, I can say that if you just put aside my explanation, we launch and AWS Linux instance, run the Apache on it, and our web server is up and running very fast. That's one of the beauty of the cloud services like AWS. 
and it's free tier eligible. So technically it's zero cost for our labs. Don't be scared to test, just break. That's your just worst case, you just terminate the instance. And just, just prevent additional cost for you. You can go to the instance and terminate the instance. Don't forget to doing that. Um, thanks for watching the video. Please feel free to leave your comments on below. I'd be happy if I can answer your question. As usual, watch, learn, subscribe, and share to our channel. It helps me to create more videos and tutorials for you guys. And then next um, tutorial, I'm thinking to show you how to launch a LAMP server, maybe the combination of the Apache, PHP, and MariaDB, maybe. And also, we, I'll show you that how we can automate the whole process while we're launching an EC2 um, Linux instance. So even you no need to just go do the, the, all this the function manually. Everything, your web server can automatically up and running. So let's, uh, before I forget, terminate this instance and delete that. And see you in the future video. Thanks again.